Hello everybody and welcome back to Daily Transmission. Today we're going to show you how to terminate an electrical wire with a crib terminal. If you're converting your own van you will more than likely have to do some electrics at some point. Now that may be to adapt a wiring loom that you've had made or you may be completely building a leisure wiring system from scratch. Let me just tell you what you will need today. To terminate a regular single core electrical wire from 0.5 mm squared up to 2 mm squared, you are going to need the following. A pair of wire cutters or flush cutters in this case, some wire strippers and a cable crimp tool. The crimps we are going to be using today are non insulated crimp terminals. We have male and female crimps in two different sizes. We're going to be using a clear rubber insulative boot as opposed to using the pre-insulated red, blue or yellow crimp terminals that are commonly available. In order to neatly and safely terminate a single core cable you are going to first need to trim the cable to length. For that I'm going to be using wire cutters or in this case some flush cutters. So the cable is now cut to length and I need to remove anywhere between three and five millimeters of the insulated sleeve round the cable. I'm going to use two methods. The first one is going to be using these flush cutters and I will Press the tool around the sheath, not cutting all the way through. And once I'm happy that the outer sheathing is cut, I can simply slide it off, exposing the inner core of the cable. Alternatively, I can use the cable stripping tool. And to use that, I lay the cable into the jaws of the tool. And it's this part here which will strip the end of the cable. So once I'm happy with the position of the wire within the jaws, I just press them home fully and it'll remove the cable sheath from the core. Once I'm happy that the insulation has been removed, I can offer up my chosen crimp terminal. In this instance, I'm going to be using a female spade terminal on our earth cable. I'm just going to offer it up just to see that these rearmost jaws, shall we say, uh, can crimp round the insulation and that these inner jaws will crimp safely around the inner core of the cable. So if I lay that in there, you can just see that those two parts will crimp round those two sections nice and safe. Once you're happy with the fit, lay the crimp terminal into the crimping tool. And in this case, I'm going to lay it down, making sure that these rearmost jaws are butt, butted up against this part of the tool. Like that. And then I'm going to close the crimp tool down gently on one click just to hold that crimp in place. I'm then going to, or well before I put that cable into the crimp, I'm just going to add the insulating boot. The cable then fits into the crimp, making sure that the inner core will be crimped nicely by those inner jaws. I will then press home fully on the tool. Remove the crimp. And there you can see that the outer sheath has been crimped nicely and the inner core has been crimped as well. And there is no chance that is gonna come off. All that's left to do is to slide the insulating boot over the cable and that is a job done. There are alternative ways that you can add an ins insulative boot. You can maybe slide some heat shrink over that, heat up the heat shrink and it will enclose that area. Or of course, you can buy the pre-insulated terminals as well, but I prefer to use these so I can definitely see when the inner core and the outer sheath is crimped 100%. 
I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Daily Transmission. Please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. If you'd like to check out the playlist for this series or any other, please head down to the description where you will find a link. If you'd like to support Coombe Valley Campers, head over to our website at www.coombevalleycampers.co.uk where you will find links to our web store and our Patreon page. Please follow us in between episodes at our Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.